Hi, Hi boys, boys and girls. Welcome, Welcome to Nyla Nailed It. it. Let's make learning fun! What are we doing today? We're going to use the Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Yeah. All right, you ready? Okay, let's see. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Where's the egg? Yeah, that's right. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Boys and girls, don't cut your book like this. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Let's continue. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but, but he, he was, was still hungry. hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Show me three fingers. Yep, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four, four strawberries, but he, that is not four, yes, four <laughs> strawberries, but he was still <laughs> Hungry. Boys and girls, I hope you can show Nyla what four looks like because I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I already did it now. Fix your thumb. <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, he ate through five oranges. That's what it's not eating. That's what it seems like. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But, but he, he was still hungry. hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and... One slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach, stomach ache. ache. <laughs> he ate too much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, look at this. Two feet plus four feet equals how many feet altogether? Six. I want it eight. Well, how about we draw, how about we make our own caterpillar and we make sure it has eight legs? That sounds like a good idea. You're going to have to do a little all of the ones that we can make. All right, let's, let's finish reading the book and then we'll go make our caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful kangaroo. Now a beautiful butterfly. Fly. Oh, okay, let me try again. He was a beautiful refrigerator. <laughs> <I'm not a> <laughs> <fly>. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Get it together. He was a beautiful person. No, I'm not a fly. Okay, let me, I'm gonna go back. I gotta read this properly. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butternut squash. <laughs> no, butterfly! A butterfly. <laughs> He was a beautiful butterfly. No, Kitty. No, Kitty. The beginning. No, the ending. The end. Let me, can you do it again? Read again? 
how about we let the boys and girls read this book? If you have this book, guys, go read it. Next, we're going to show you a craft on how you can make your own very hungry caterpillar. So keep watching, okay? It's craft time. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for watching.